はい。I've been up here a long time. I mean, like, really long time. I've been AFS up here for hours. And you know what I've discovered? You, you know? You know what I've discovered? Can you tell? My ice cube trays are not freezing. I don't know why that's why that's true. I think something may have changed with the new biome shifts. Um, I was able to harvest them once, and then I was up there for hours, and they never froze again. So I don't think they work anymore. And I think it has to do with biomes. I don't know what that means, but I think I think it's true. And that is a little bit disappointing. It also means I have a project in my future. I'm going to have to rebuild these things somewhere else. Um, I just have to figure out the new mechanics because the new old mechanics clearly are not working. I will leave these here as a testament to uh, eras bygone, but I will have to figure out something else. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Hello world, welcome to Jer Andrew Landia. I am your host, Jer Andrew, and this is my Landia, and this is my warehouse, and it is not called um, Jer Andrew or anything. It's just the warehouse right now. And I was uh, putting in the corners, uh, finishing, uh, framing this out, the foundation for this, the warehouse. Because that's where we are, the warehouse. And I was looking at these ends right here. And right now I have them kind of here. But I needed to think a little bit more about this because we need to um, account for staircases. So if we have a column here and we have a wall here and then we have a staircase here, then we need a wall over here. So I think I need to move these corners out a little bit. And I was getting ready to start filling in some gaps. But So if we have a column, wall, stair, wall, this is where these corners are actually going to be. So I need to make this adjustment. It's not a big adjustment, it's only a two block adjustment, but it's still going to take a little bit of a redo. So we could take that out like this. And then these can will probably come out. Yeah, let's take it out for now. I don't know exactly what I'm doing for the walls, so I, I, I don't want to have stuff in the way with, of my thinking. Like that. I've got one more to do on the other side. I'm searching for blocks, that's what I'm doing. Okay, let's go over to the other side. Oh, hi. Get our rotten flesh. So this one needs to come out as well. Well, that one probably didn't need to come out. Right, so we've got column, wall, stair. Yeah, column, wall, stair, wall. Like so, and yeah, Ooh. let's just take these out before I, I cut out the floor underneath me. Like that, and I've got you there for some reason, I don't know why you're there, but we'll take you out for now. I'll end up putting you back probably. Oh, that's why you were there, because I had a corner down here. So I also put in um, the framing down at the bottom. I started putting in a little bit of the wall and then I started thinking and that's kind of what happened. So, now we need these corners here. Oh, that's up. Like that. This one will need to come out. Oh, I don't really need to take it out, but I will take it out. Because otherwise it'll confuse me, and I don't like being confused. Oh. this and this and we take this out and all the gravel doesn't matter we'll end up cleaning out all that gravel anyway but until we do that I'm gonna take out these do I have something out here yeah let's take you out too that then I suppose this one has to come out as well and what are we gonna do here 
I think we do need to come down like this. Like that. And then this one can come out. And it's nighttime. And let's see. It doesn't matter because we're underwater. Night doesn't matter when you're underwater. So this one will come out. I wonder if the terror chickens, the terror pigeons, will come after me even though I'm underwater and I've not been sleeping. Maybe we'll find out. Maybe we will. My nose is itching a little bit. Is this the right spot? This looks like the right spot. It's the rightish spot. This, no, it's, it's correct. Does that seem right? Yeah, it seems right. Then we just need the, the bit along here. going on down here? Oh, there's a cave underneath here. Well, we'll have to be careful of that. Let's put a torch. Why do you have a bone? A bunch of creepers. Interesting. Um, okay. I'm just going to put you down here for now. And, yeah. Interesting. We'll have to clean out that gravel, obviously. We'll get to it, but it just won't be right now. Hey. Oh. Oh, is the, is the conduit, does it make those animation, maybe? And it leaves it there until we get another one? So if it kills something in that spot, it creates the animation, the animation stays? I wonder if I can absorb its power standing here. Well, maybe not. All right, um, yes, so these are adjusted. Looks like I've got some stuff I can pick up up here. I'm more interested in the stone than the kelp, but, you know. All right, um, I'm going to gather some thoughts. I'll be with you in just a moment. Hi, everyone. Okay, now it's time to start putting in these foundational walls. And uh, just a note that I want this thing to be massive, so these are actually the interior of the foundational walls, because I'll also have an exterior. Um, so what I've done is, if you look at my hot bar, I've got a, a mix of stone brick, mossy stone brick, cracked stone brick, mossy cobble, and cobble. And normally when I do mixes like this, I go for an even mix, but I'm not going for an even mix this time. I'm going to do a lot more regular stone brick, because I think this foundation would be pretty well maintained. They'd want this thing to work, because there's a lot of important um, stuff in here. So... Um, let's see if I can figure out a good rhythm to do this in. And you see I started building it up here. I may take some of this out. Let's, let's get to a place where I haven't started building it up. Do we want it here? Oh, well, this one needs to change out, too. So we can't do it there. Let's go over here. This is a good place. This is a good place. So maybe I'll go up, like, two. Maybe three. And then we'll start mixing them in. And this is going to be, uh, this is going to be a pain in the I, <clears throat> it's going to be a pain in the butt. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's early morning. I've been having insomnia. It doesn't go well for the quality of my language. Um, so I'm trying to do something like this, you know, just get a little bit of a mix. Maybe that one. Maybe that one. I don't know, how am I doing? Hmm. It seems fine, but you get the idea. I'll do it, and we'll see in a little bit. 
Okay, everyone, while I'm busy building that foundation, I thought I would do something else, and we are at the Isle of Dogs because I want some sponges. Um, we did get 12 sponges out of the Ocean Monument over there, but I don't think I explored the whole thing, so I wanted to go and explore the whole thing to make sure there aren't any more in there. And, yeah, we are at the Isle of Dogs, so I think I said that. Now, okay, let's go back to our boat. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't finish exploring it. I think it's still um, full of water. We killed the Elder Guardians. And this is also a good time to review what we're doing here. We've got this nice crystal here. And I think I want a couple more of them scattered around. We have the circumference. I don't know if you can see it. I'll show you that in a moment. So we've got, yeah, well, you can see right up here. We've got the tunnel into the front. And we need to uh, clarify the what's happening here, too. So let's go down. Oh, yeah, we have a kind of conduit here, don't we? Oh, this is still full of water. I need to empty this out, too. Um, I did bring doors. But why am I bouncing on things? I don't want to bounce on things. Oh, yeah, and this, the, this is still full of water, too. Interesting. I'll have to figure out what I want to do here. But um, in the meantime, I think I will... Take this and this. I brought a lot of wood. I also brought a night vision potion. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the way it goes sometimes. So this should be air now. Yep. Now we, I'm gonna, f yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna empty this out as I go. So um, when I find sponges, if I find sponges or I find something interesting, we'll see. I'll bring you in. Otherwise, I'm just gonna work on this, and we'll see you in a moment. Okay, the tunnel is clear. That's that's it. We, we've got guardians all around here too. I like the idea of this tunnel with glass, so you can see them uh, doing what they do. Guardians, guardian, guardianing, guardianing, guardianing. Got to practice my words. And I did do some of this. Um, I think this is a way to the storage through here. Up here. Um, what am I doing up here? Interesting. I wonder why I cut all this out. Maybe this was all cut out before. I don't know. I'll, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Um, yeah, maybe I got a good start, or a partial start. I guess I don't know what I'm doing. Through here? Maybe through here. Yeah, I, I think I got a par partial start on, on doing this. Um, I, I guess I need to continue. We'll see in a bit. Hi, everyone. Sponges. I don't know where the heck I am, but there's sponges. And in case you haven't seen me do this before, um, this, I, what I do is just fill it in with dirt. Get all the dirt right through here. Um, I probably should be using kitty litter, but I've, I keep forgetting to make kitty litter. It's such a rare block, and it's kind of expensive, but it works so well. It's almost better than sponges as far as cleaning up water goes. And, but it also cleans up other fluids as well. Um, particularly those generated by cats, which is why it's called kitty litter. But you know what? You, you know about these things. I don't need to explain this all to you. So, I, yeah, I just uh, fill it in. Let's go over this way. Oh, dark. I need a torch in here. Yeah, big wall back there. I haven't gotten back there yet. But, yeah, and then I just clean out the dirt. And it looks like I cut a hole. I'll figure this out in just a moment, but get up all this mud. I should make some mud. I wonder if that works better for cleaning up than dirt does. I don't know. Okay, so to go up, I'm going to put down a couple of blocks like this. I'm going to break this one out. And it should go right in the hole there, and then I can swim up. And we have all these sponges. So, um, how many silk touch? Do I need silk, silk touch? I don't know. That's another 28 sponges. Now we just need to clean out this room so we don't want any uh, guardians spawning in here. You also need to light it up so that no other mobs will spawn in here. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Um, it looks like there's water up right above, so I don't think we have anywhere else to go up here. Get this up. And I can take these out because I don't need doors here anymore to hold back the water. 
All right, I will continue on. We'll see you in a little bit. Oh, hi. <laughs> um, what's going on here? What are you? What are you all doing to me? You may wonder what, how I found myself in this position. Um. Ah! Um. My shovel's almost dead. Um, I didn't finish the uh, ocean monument, but I had some night vision potions on me, so here I am. And, uh, as you can see, there I'm standing above ruins. There's a ship over there and another ocean monument over there. This is an exciting place. Um, where am I in comparison to the other ocean monuments? Uh, the other ocean monument is back there, and there's another ship there. It, this is area is, is just rife with adventure. Anyway, I'm going to go heal my, mend my tools. I'm going to get this torch off my, my uh, groin area, and I'll see you in a little bit. Hi, everyone. I'm almost done with the foundation as far as putting the stone brick in. Um, I decided just to put in the stone brick because it may... Trying to switch between blocks and figure out what to do next was is very stressful. So if I just do this, and so here's the kind of the technique I settle on. Um, vertically. Stone brick. Not worrying about too much about um, vari var variegating it yet. I don't know if that's a real word. Um, texturizing it. And then I can just piece these in like this. Now, I am texturizing. You see, I did a sample over here. But instead of trying to mix it all in like I was doing, I can just... T I, I'm going to take this cup out of the way. It's going to be in my way. Take it out of my way because it's going to be in my way. But I can just come down now and just pop a block out every once in a while. That was, that was already texturized. I didn't need to break that one out. And then I can... Let's see, I need those, I need those, I need those, I need those. I can just kind of do something like this. And I don't have to worry too much. Maybe that one, and that one, that one, that one. And that, and that, and that. Sort of like that. And so I'll just go around doing this whole thing now. Um, but I'll do that off camera because I think it's going to. There may be some naughty words involved. Let's see, pick you, pick you people up. All right, so we'll see you in a little bit. Hi, everyone. Uh, while I'm texturizing down below, I'm also going to work on something else. Um, I'm going to put in the walls. And we've got, so we've got a column, wall, stair, wall, column, right? So I need to put in these walls. Just like that. Done. No, I guess I'm not done. Um, this one, I think, hmm, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Maybe I need to put one across here. Yes, I think I, I think I do. Oh, get off the stair, thank you. This. And I think I need to do some on this other side, too. Whoa! So this is wall here. Column wall across like this. And I'll need to do that over here as well. Um, but I need to do it all the way down. I already took the gravel off. Look at that. How convenient. How convenient. I didn't take all the gravel out, though. I didn't take the sand out yet, either. We'll have to get to that. You know, see how, it, uh, how it's looking over here? Oh, it looks like I missed a spot, but I'll put a stone brick in here. Oh, I'll, we'll put a stone brick in here, I said. And do I need them here as well? I think so. 
And maybe this comes out. Yeah, I don't think I need these here. Like so. Like so. But I may need. I may need to. Uh, well, we may have to figure that out as we go. But I do need walls on either side of the stairs, and they need to go all the way down. So let's try to do one more just for fun. Here. Here are the zombies down below, and then we go up. And down. Yeah, I think we need to keep the walls off those other areas, but maybe. Oh. Need a step talking and pay attention to what I'm doing. Like so. Yeah, so I think this probably has to come down as well. Yeah, we'll figure it out as we go, but I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you really liked it, leave a subscribe. As always, uh, I respond to all comments, so if you want to leave a comment, I'll respond to it, even if it's something inane like nice. I hope you have a good day, and we'll see you next time on Gerandorlandia. Goodbye.